Hi, and welcome to Simple Ruby Programming Tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be a quick one, uh, but it is very useful. Uh, sometimes we write a text, and um, it's a very long text, and then after we finish it, we figure out uh, we want to change some part of it, uh, but we can't go through word by word or read the whole, um, read all the pages all over again to change the words. And so this program is going to be very handy in the situation uh, that you just want to replace one word in the first place or one word in the whole text. So first I'm going to print my text on the screen and then I'm going to call uh, sub or gsub uh, which is stand for substitution or global substitution um, to change the word or words and then we can save the output either in the same place or we can um, save our uh, original text and output it somewhere else or save it somewhere else so now let's just start. Um, I'm going to assign a variable a and I'm going to write a string for it which is going to be my text and the words that I want to change inside of it. I'm just going to paste my text here because I already write it. And in this text I have words, I have word, and another word and I want to change these ones notice this is words but these ones are word it doesn't necessarily need to be word it can be any word that you want to change it can be flower it can be number anything that you want uh, so now we're going to start and uh, write our substitute and, and global substitute expressions. Um, I'm going to use puts because I want to print it on the screen and uh, when I'm doing it. And then a, the name of our variable, dot, first we're going to do sub to see what is the difference between sub and gstop. And what I want to do is to change words is to change word into number. So I'm going to write word and you have to put it in the form of the string so we're putting put quotation marks around it and then comma and we're going to change it to number. Again don't forget the quotation marks. Now we're going to um, oh, let's make this bigger so we can see what's going on. Now let's run this. So this is our puts. This is uh, after the change. It says first one it changed to numbers. Notice that here we say word but it is still changed to words and it didn't change it to number, it changed it to numbers. But if you look at the other words, the other words that are in the um, text, they are not changed. There is still just word there. They're still there. Now we want to change all of the words that are in the text into numbers. And the way to write that is puts a dot, we're going to make it global gstop word to number. Run it again. So now we have two. The first one is just the numbers and then the rest of them are word and word. But here in the second one that we use gstop, we can see that uh, the first one changed to numbers and then the second one changed to number and the third one changed to number two. So 
so if you want to just change the first one you use stop alone if you want to change all of the words that are in the text you will change you will use gsa but now um, after all of these changes that have been done let's print our a again so i'm gonna put puts a and then run it again so the third one is going to be when we print a again there is still the same thing it is still words word and another one which is word but you want to you want to save it you can either save it in a so when you want to save it you can easily just assign a variable and save it inside of that you can either choose a but if you choose a you won't have access to the original one anymore but if you for example assign b you will still have access to uh, your code so i'm going to assign b is equal to a dot g sub word number then puts b we're going to run it again so now actually let's um Actually, let's cut this one and save it in output because this is the one that has been saved. Oh, we don't need to run it again. Oh, actually, let's run it again. Now from the beginning. First one is this one. We are changing the first word with the number. So the first word was words, so it changed to numbers. And then the rest of the word are still words. For our second one, second output is uh, GSOP, so all of the words changed to number. First one changed to numbers, and the rest of it changed to number. And then we assigned this variable uh, to our new uh, to our new a, and we printed for the last one. So puts b is the last one. We're going to change the we're going to check the last one. It is numbers number number. So it is already saved the new version of our text is already saved in B and we printed our A and we can still see that this is our original text so we have our original text we have our changed text which is saved in B and we have you we have used um, substitute substitute which uh, changed only the first word that we wanted to change and we use global substitute we change all of the words that were in the text and we wanted to change so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and see you in next video bye